those cute little heart blushes. Hey guys, Madison Burr here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going through trend mood. We are finding the video, not the videos. I'm trying to move over and make room. We're finding the collabs and the makeup launches and all that good stuff that we actually enjoyed during the month of January. Now, I've already done my anti-haul video. As you know, I wasn't a big fan of a lot of things considering Lunar New Year and I don't know, there's a lot of things that came out that were just kind of aesthetically pleasing but not necessarily something I would want to buy. I'm I'm still scrolling. Okay, this is one. I want this because I'm curious, but also the color palette's very interesting. Um, it's the Cookies and Cream, or is it Dreams? I think it says Cookies and Dreams. Yeah, Cookies and Dreams, but it's like a Cookies and Cream collab palette, whatever, um, from e.l.f. They have a putty primer, um, an eyeshadow palette, which I'm kind of curious about. There's like two little lighter blues, a dark blue, a black, and then like three like browns and then like a nude color. And so it's very interesting, like just the blues of everything kind of throw me because I'm curious. And then there's like the lip glosses. I'm hoping this has like a piped up version of the lip glosses. So for the lip glosses, there's a light blue one, kind of a whitish one, and then a black one. Girl, they look, it looks interesting. And it's looking like the black's going to look a little bit more brown, but they're little glosses. One, I hope they smell amazing. There is also like a lip scrub and brushes and sponges. But also I really liked the aesthetic look of this launch. I mean, I think it's cute. I haven't seen too much like cookies and cream type launches. Um, they have a big old marble, like black and white marble with like a little pattern going on in a lot of the promo pictures. Um, and then for the lip scrub, they actually have like a mountain of like cookies and cream ice cream almost. Oh, I think this is like a, is that a facial scrub thing? Okay, let's see. We have the brush set, single scoop sponges, putty primer. It's an overnight mask. That's what it is. It's a wash off mask. That's what that was. Because I, I was thinking that was like something else but I didn't even see that so it looks it looks interesting I might get it if it comes to my Walmart I might genuinely get this um kind of excited to see how it goes this I thought was kind of adorable this is from Peachy Queen Cosmetics it is a Betty Boop kind of like Valentine's I guess yeah I think it is for Valentine's Day um little eyeshadow palette it's cute. It's got some like reds and pink. It's kind of got a good little color story. It has a silver and a gold and a red glitter and some kind of like, kind of like a whitish glitter. I cannot function that into a correct sentence, so I don't know that color right now. Um, but moving on. There was a few things that we really liked. And then there was a few things that I wasn't quite sure about and I'm just going to wait until we really see what's going on. I'm just, I'm still scrolling up. Like I said, there was not a whole lot that I liked. Um, this I thought was kind of cute. This is a Nomad Cosmetics. Um, it's just, it's another eyeshadow palette. I really like the greens and the blues. It's very pretty. I don't know, it's giving, it's giving winter. And instead of like Valentine's Day, like a lot of things are about to be giving because February is coming up. It's like it's gonna it's gonna be Valentine's Day when we go. We already have some that's already coming out. Girl, I don't know if I talked about this in the anti haul one, but I want to talk about it again if I did. There's like some kind of Amazon thing, and it's with a uh, a Korean beauty brand 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 uh, Seal Mamas. Either way, it's a baloney mask. And high key, I did not even like before I could read it. I just thought this chick had baloney on her face. It even comes in like the the Oscar, um, like is it Meyer Mayer? 
Who are you? One second. Um, yes, Mayor. <laughs> I just, it even comes in like the actual packaging and that very much disturbs me. Um, but I think it's kind of hilarious. And like the little like cuts in the like face mask where it's like your mouth goes and your eyes. It looks like little chomp marks. Okay, so this, I was surprised. I was surprised, excited, and a little disappointed. So this is called the Wild Greens palette. It is from Urban Decay. I haven't seen something I like from Urban Decay in a very long time. Now, with that being said, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe? Six shimmers, six mattes. Um, for this to be Wild Greens, and I feel like a lot of people are in the same boat with me, um, at least one row should have just been all greens. I understand neutrals and stuff, but, and then you have some kind of like red orange up here. That shouldn't be there at all. It's green palette. It's a green palette. And I feel like a lot of people liked it. I love the packaging. It looks cool. Um, it opens up kind of like outward, if that makes sense. Kind of like a book. But I can't get over just the color story. It's, I would try it. But I don't know if I'd really go and buy it. If someone gifted it to me, then maybe. I just can't really justify. Does it even say how much it is yet? Yeah, $44. I'm not, I'm not doing it for something when I can go get a legit green palette for a lot cheaper. Um, so this was a... Wait, who is this? Oh, this was Kylie. I mixed up Kylie and Colourpop. Okay, so this is this is cute. It's very Valentine's Day. It's very love it. Um, it has a little mirror. It is the what is it? It's a Valentine's palette collection. Kylie Cosmetics. It just says eyeshadow palette. It has no name. Um, but it's cute. It has some cute little glittery shimmer moments and some mattes. Very cute. Um, I, that's not what I thought it was. I was about to talk about something and it not be the right thing. I could have swore there was a... Ah, there it is. So Colourpop is launching their Valentine's Day collection. So the reason I confused the two is because... Well, um... Now, it's very cute. It's very cute. But, um... Colourpop does have a palette coming out which is secret charmer eyeshadow palette now in this and i thought this was so cute i was like why haven't they why didn't they do all of them so like two of the pans out of this like nine pan palette are in a heart shape and i was like why don't you just do all of them like that and then i saw the Kylie one where it was all heart shaped and i was very anyway but yes they have that they have a few like reds like whatever valentine's day stuff and then they have these cute little blushes that are adorable i might get one because there is a very dark blush on there and I do love dark blushes um so I might end up getting one and they're in the shape of a heart they're very cute I love it um and that is actually it as of today that is the last thing that's worth talking about I mean I guess I could talk and this upsets me because Jaclyn Hill launched her new lipsticks giving very Norvina vibes um but yeah, that didn't make it into my anti haul, but I just want you to know I don't care for it. Um, it's given weird energy. It's not the energy she normally gives with her stuff. Like, I get one to branch out, I have different, like, things. But it feels very punk, and her brand has been established as very n not that. And I don't know, it just gave me weird vibes. But... Anyway, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you stayed through this long, what was your favorite, least favorite, whatever makeup of January? Is there something you're excited for? All that jazz. But anyway, that's the end of the video. I'm going to be heading out. I upload every Wednesday and Friday, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.